H.G. Wells for sure is the father of science fiction. H.G. Wells' stories really laid the groundwork for science fiction as a genre. This wasn't someone just writing about a time machine. This was someone conceiving of the concept and coining the term time machine. It's really quite a poignant book and quite a sort of melancholic book, really. Having been to the future, he then goes even further forward to the end of time or the end of planet Earth. He came a step forward, hesitated, and then touched my hand. It feels very real. It feels very much like, even though the book's over 100 years old, it, you've got this sense of it happening now, in the moment. He remained standing at the edge of the pit that the thing had made for itself, staring at its strange appearance. As I've done before, found H.G. Wells, his words especially, incredibly full of life. He sort of goes on of these massive tangents that you somehow then get lost into his, his brilliant mind. You have these amazing sort of taglines at the end of chapters, cliffhangers to bring people back. Some force not himself impels him, and go he must. But why? It's got like a science fiction element to it. It's also a bit of a slice of life, a village life, what happens when people get terrorised and people come frightened of the unseen. Mm -hmm. And also it's quite comical. Some of it's, I think he's writing a lot of time with a kind of raised eyebrow. He staggered into the coach and horses, more dead than alive, and flung his portmanteau down. In the name of human charity, a room and a fire. There is a man shipwrecked with uh, a mysterious, slightly disgraced, establishment figure from London who is working in an area where he's trying to see if he can create human beings out of animals. I followed him out with my eyes, and as I did so, by some odd trick of unconscious cerebration, there came surging into my head the phrase, the Moreau hollows. The thing about Moreau is that he's not evil, he's not sadistic, certainly. He represents a, a dangerous road that we could all go down, and therein, I think, lies what makes this book so contemporary. As soon as I got into it, I realized quite how much the godfather of science fiction H.G. Wells is. You can see so many echoes down the generations to uh, the sci-fi of today. The reason that we're still talking about this book is because he wrote something very special. It's a genre that didn't really exist in the way that it now does, and I think H.G. Wells is in no small part responsible for that. He's really funny. I know you wouldn't think that, but it, he's really, really funny. I mean, his kind of character observations and the little things he sees in all the characters. Um, I, th I think he was having quite a good laugh when he was writing The Invisible Man. The books are timeless. I think we could, like a great play, you could perform them over and over and over, but this is the definitive collection of H.G. Wells' work. And if you've never heard H.G. Wells or read H.G. Wells, I'm actually jealous of you because you get to hear them for the first time. <laughs>